Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Thursday morning. Hoping all is well with you out there today, as always. I saw this post on the subreddit Kratom page, Kratom spelled with two M's, and it is, I don't know, three days old. And it says, How much Kratom do you take? Survey. Three questions. Informal survey. Number one How much do you take per dose and how much per day? Daily or on occasion? Number two, for how long have you been taking it now? Number three, what's the reason for your intake? What are you taking it for? How does it help you? What effects do you get? I like it when people have this sort of like informal but formal survey set up on on any sort of platform. I don't know why exactly or at least I didn't when I first saw this like I saw this and I was like oh that's great and I was like why do I why do I say that why do I why am I like oh that's great and by the way there there's only one person so far who has commented on this so far um so the one of the reasons why I'm bringing this up is so that if people are interested there's a link in the description of this podcast and you can give your input and give this person some answers but I was thinking to myself why is it that I really like it when I see something like this and kind of mulling it over now, I guess the, the reason why I like this is because A, it's it's like, you know, any person can start to accumulate data on something that they're interested in just by asking people, just by asking the public. And, you know, there's a lot of great tools like, you know, so certain social media. I'm not getting into the whole like, oh, is social media good or bad? I'm just saying like in this sort of thing, I like that people can ask a lot of people at once something specific and get answers, you know, which is part of the reason why, why I'm trying to like get people to send their input along to this person so they can get some information, you know? And I guess the other reason is that it, it, it's selfish, actually. <laughs> it, it's that it gives me more of an idea of how people use Kratom and what the current situation is with it. Like, if there's almost an opportunity here to understand trends before they make it into official scientific data because you're just asking Kratom, you know, people like the Kratom community, whoever that is, what they're doing right now. So it's like accumulating, you know, real time data <laughs> uh, from from average Joes. And I think that's the best way to do it in a lot of in a lot of circumstances. And it's just, again, it's like a selfish reason. I want to know more. <laughs> this person asking this uh, to people out there helps me and it benefits me because I just want to read the comments. <laughs> Quite frankly, I want to read the comments. Yet another reason why I'm promoting it here. I want people to, you know, submit their input. But it's great because then I can take a look at them. I can see what percentage of people are thinking this? What percentage of that? But not just that, because a lot of people do, you know, write down that sort of thing. They'll break down how many comments the FDA people said about this or that. More of like the sentiment, the way they talk about it. How many people talk about this in, in a way that seems like they feel like it's a stigmatized thing? How many people are completely open about it? They never mention anything other than just answering the question. 
that's another aspect. It's like sometimes people will answer a question about Kratom on a survey and they'll go into something that isn't even quite related to the question. And you start to realize, oh, so that person's thinking a lot about Kratom and them taking it and different things about it that isn't necessarily part of the survey, but it, there's some information there, you know? And I really enjoy that. I'm starting to tell that I, you all are probably starting to figure out that I did sociology, huh? <laughs> I'm just, this is the sort of thing I love nerding out about. What do people think? Why do they think it? And how can I pull really subtle information from these answers to get a better understanding of what Kratom means to people? And how many people, you know, like, will people answer this question and say, I take this much, this many times per day, I used to do this much, I'm hoping that I can cut it down in a few months. Because what? then you can pull a lot from that, right? Wow, they started at a really high amount. Or wow, they started at a low amount, now they're taking a high amount, but they want to get off of it. Or they want to cut down. You might get an answer where it's like, I take a whole bunch every day and it's great. You might get an answer that's like, it destroyed my life. And why are you why are you asking these questions? Honestly, this survey shouldn't be a thing. And it's like, you know, that's kind of the public response. And, and I'm not saying that anybody should be mean necessarily. If people want to have answers, they should have them. But I'm just saying that you can really pull some information from how people react to this sort of thing. But you do have to also understand that the people who are going to be answering it are people who are listening to this right now <laughs> or people who frequently go on that subreddit page, for instance. So you have to take that into account too. So when I look at the, the answers, I'm thinking, okay, these are the people, these are the sorts of people who are seeing this primarily. It's not like we're getting a randomized sample here, you know. But still, I like to understand what you all are thinking and what anybody is thinking when it comes to this stuff. And who knows, if we ask these same questions three years from now and get entirely different answers, that's when things get really interesting. So that's what I want to see happen. So if you want to give your input and selfishly help me understand more about you, <laughs> but by the way, not my survey, I'm like mooching off this person. So I, I definitely have to give a, a shout out to the person, um, the the user, Mr. Never Ever Knew. <laughs> link in the description of this podcast one person has commented on this so far and um and i listened to their response by the way i am an extremely occasional user three to four times a year each time i buy 50 grams usually green type i use eight grams at a time to give me very nice relaxation and euphoria and it's for recreational purposes i do it every other day until i run out so you know this from this person the first person who answers I get the understanding they know exactly what they're doing, you know? <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. This is how it goes. I don't know. I, I get a kick out of that sort of thing. Anyway, okay. Give your input if you feel like it. I'll I'll get to I'll get to mooch off this user's uh, questions and hopefully it benefits them because they'll get some answers, which is the only reason why I feel comfortable, you know, throwing this out there, because I certainly have nothing to do with this. Um yeah, that's about it for today. Take it easy. We'll be back tomorrow to round out the week. Have a good day. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.